everything set up in ConvertKit so that we're sure when we have a new member join Circle, we have a flow set up for them in ConvertKit. We need to somehow get them into that flow. That is where Zapier comes in. We're going to use a Zap to identify a new member, add it in Circle, and put the tag that we just created onto that member. So first thing you want to do is set up your trigger. You're going to choose Circle. Go ahead and choose Circle and your trigger event is new member added. Hit continue, link up your account, and then, then go to your setup trigger, which for this case is just helping creatives. From there, we're gonna to wanna to go ahead and test it. If you don't have any members, remember, you have to go over to Circle and put in some dummy data. So once that's all set, go ahead and hit continue. Hit the plus sign and pick convert kit. From here, our action event is going to be to add a tag to the subscriber. Go ahead and link up your account and then click your setup action. So our tag is the community tag that I just created in this example that is helping creatives community for you. It's whatever tag you are using to identify your community members. Remember, this is the same tag that we are using to kick off our automation series in ConvertKit to send our onboarding flow through. Go ahead and pull in any relevant information there and then give it a test. Once you have that all done, go ahead and hit turn on Zap. The second thing we want to set up in Zapier is whenever we have a new member added in Circle, we need to be notified somehow so that we're aware of how many members we have coming in and maybe we want to go over to circle and say hello or set up more automations different segments what have you so the second zap we're going to set up is a message to us in our own slack channel again we're going to want to choose circle as our app and the event is new member added connect your account and set up your trigger again this for this example is also just the community which for us is helping creatives and then go ahead and test it you should have data from the initial zap we just did but if not go ahead and find another member or create one in your circle account now once you have that all tested and good you're going to go ahead and hit the plus sign and choose slack once you have that chosen we are going to pick action event, send channel message. Hit continue, link up your Slack account, and then move on to your setup action. Here you can pick whatever channel you would like. You could also choose a DM um, if you didn't want to send a channel message. I've chosen just to do a private channel in my Slack group. From here, you can have this message say whatever you would like. I've chosen to <laughs> make it a little friendly and link over to the Circle profile in case I wanted to jump straight into Circle from Slack. Lots of options here in terms of how you would like to style this. You can send this through as a bot or no. If you want it to come through as yourself, go ahead and name it, give it an icon. If you want the link to the zap, you can see if you have multiple people managing your members, this might be pretty convenient. It will help you be able to jump straight to the zap quickly if you have to make adjustments. But if it's just you, perhaps you don't need that. And as you can see, there's lots of other options here. These options, of course, will be different if you've chosen to send a DM or some other alternate way in Slack. Once you have everything the way you want it, go ahead and hit test action and see if that comes over to your Slack channel, which it does. Say hi, and this jumps me right over. So now that we have our two zaps set up, we're all set to tie everything together. When we have new members sign up using ConvertKit, now Zapier will help us manage them as they move through the flow and let us know that they've joined via Slack. The last thing we're going to do is take a look at Circle and just a couple of other options you can do to enhance your community 